ஐ எம் ஜமிலா நசிஹா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் காமர்ஸ் ஜமால் மொமெண்ட் காலேஜ் இன் திருச்சி வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி பர்சனல் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் கண்டன்ஸ் மீனிங் ஆஃப் பர்சனல் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் நேச்சர் அண்ட் ஸ்கோப் ஆஃப் பர்சனல் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் அப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் ஆஃப் பர்சனல் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் அண்ட் டிஸ்டிங்ஷன் பிட்வீன் பர்சனல் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் அண்ட் ஹியூமன் ரிசோர்ஸஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் மீனிங் Personal management may be defined as a set of policies, practices and programs designed to maximize both personal and organizational goals. It is the process of binding people and organization together, so that objectives of each are achieved. According to Flippo, personal management is the planning, organizing, directing and controlling of the procurement, development, compensation integration maintenance and the reproduction of human resources to the end that individual organizational and the social objectives are accomplished nature of personal management comprehensive function personal management is concerned with managing people at work it covers all types of people at all levels in the organization it applies to workers supervisors officers managers and other types of personnel people oriented personal management is concerned with employees as individual as well as groups it is the task of dealing with the human relationship within non organization it is the process of bringing people and the organization together so that the goals of each are met action oriented women are likely to take practical action to deal with a problem or situation employee needed to become more creative action oriented and efficient individual oriented under personal management every employee is considered as an individual so as to provide services and programs to facilitate employee satisfaction and the growth development oriented personal management is concerned with developing potential of employees so that they get maximum satisfaction from their work and giving their best efforts to the organization it is seeks to help the employees to realize their full potential challenging function Managing of personnel is a challenging job due to the dynamic nature of people. People have sentiments and emotions, so they cannot be treated like machines. It is therefore necessary to handle them thoughtful. It is not simply managing people, but administrating a social system. Young Discipline Personal management is of comparatively recent origin it started in the last part of the 19th century it is relatively a new specialized area as compared to manufacturing and marketing scope of personal management employee training recruitment and maintenance of labor force executive development determination of equitable wages and salaries of laborers and employees job analysis and job description labor welfare activities such as education to children of employees recreation sanitary conditions etc maintaining personal records maintaining sound human relations in industry settlement of labor disputes objectives to procedure right type of people for right jobs to train and develop human resources to establish desirable working environment to ensure satisfaction of the needs of the employees the employer should always be careful in developing the personality of each individual suitable training facility for better job performance and to prepare the man to accept the challenge of higher job desirable working relationship between employer and employees 
provision of better working condition and other facilities such as medical facilities. Distinction between personal management and human resources management. Personal management, human resources management. Philosophy teach people as a tool to be replaced when worn out. Teach people as valuable assets or resources. Nature of activity. Put in activity to hire and train employees and maintenance personal records. Strategic activity integrated into the strategic management of business. Managerial outlook. Concentrates on monitoring people and work in teams of measurable output. Focus on nurturing human talent. Shared interest. Interest of the organization are more important. Interest of the organization and the employees are equally important. Responsibility. Major responsibility rests with the HR manager. Responsibility rests with all managers, top, middle and lower, first line managers. Humanization Emphasize operative function of personal manager. That acquisition, training, compensation, appraisal, etc. Emphasize humanization of management that concentration of human relations, motivation, job satisfaction, welfare, 